So team, keep it clean. Uh, what's going on in St. Graven Hill with another video? Now, for me, um, there was some concern from some stuff that John Harbaugh brought out in a presser from yesterday. Uh, whenever you're seeing this, it may have been a couple of days since the presser. Um, but it was something that, that, that just, I don't want to say bothered me, but just really concerned me. And that was what he said about Brandon Stevens. Uh, now we know Brandon Stevens going into what his, I want to say his third year uh, with the Baltimore Ravens. Um, he was a third round pick a couple of years ago, and he fr he used to play running back. Then he ended up switching the corner, uh, and then when the Ravens brought him in, they had him playing safety. Then the following year, they ended up having him playing corner. Uh, and now this year, John Harbaugh said that Brandon Stevens is going to be focusing on playing safety. So I, I just it concerns me for his development. That 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 that's what concerns me with this whole thing. Like all, right, like all all the back and forth. Like I feel like his development, uh, it already struggled a bit. And, and I get and I get it that an athlete is an athlete. If somebody can ball, they can ball. But at the same time, um, if you having him ping pong, bounce around, bounce around, bounce around to these different positions and whatnot, and I get it. It's, it's still the secondary, but it is a completely different position. And, and hey, maybe what I hope happens, what I hope ends up being the case is that. His experience at both positions will help him just see the field that much more and see the field uh, that much better. Um, because, But it is just it's something that concerns me uh, because I just wonder, like, okay, what is it going to be? Are they trying to get more athletic on the field maybe? Because obviously they got Marcus Williams. Um, they got Kyle Hamilton. Kyle Hamilton was uh, around the box in the slot a lot more. He was blitzing and whatnot. Maybe they want to get more athletic on the back end. Maybe that could be the case. Uh, I don't know. But um, and maybe since they signed Rocky Scene, maybe they feel like, all right, well, we, we got some more flexibility now at corner. And maybe with Brandon Stevens. I remember saying this like two years ago when he was a rookie. I remember um, you could tell like, and I guess now that I'm saying a lot of this stuff out loud, I kind of answer my own questions. Um, but I am still concerned for his development. But um, two years ago, I said uh, that you could tell that they really, 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 really wanted to get Brandon Stevens on the field. You could tell because when he was a rookie, I remember in preseason, we'll never forget, they had him out there running with the starters. And he was out there a lot, like a lot. And for a rookie, what was it, a third round pick to be out there running with the starters? I was like, Ooh. And I know it was preseason and whatnot, but still, like, oh, okay. They really, they really, really like this guy. And we're still seeing evidence that they really, really like this guy. And ain't nothing wrong with that um, because they obviously see some potential. And if they're going to be having him primarily focus on the safety position, then they're going to be putting a lot of trust in him to be that safety. And, and again, maybe because um, they, they did bring back Geno Stone. They brought back Geno Stone. Uh, again, Marcus Williams, Kyle Hamilton. Uh, uh, Darius Washington is still there, but he's not. I don't really think he's going to get much of a shot. He really hasn't gotten much of a shot at all. Uh, and he was an undrafted rookie free agent. So um, it, it's tough to just make it as he is with, with being that. But um, I think uh, with the guys that they have, I feel like I'm missing somebody. Uh, but with the guys that they have, I guess they're like, you know what? Another safety won't hurt. Some more depth there won't hurt. Because that corner, Marlon Humphrey, Rock Yassine, uh Pepe Williams, um, Jalen Armour Davis, Caillou. Uh, well, I know I'm missing two people. Ke Kevon Seymour and Daryl Worley. Okay, I know I was missing two people. Uh, so, you, like, when you look at that, um, I I can see the Ravens still adding there. I, I can see them still adding at, at, at corner. And I know Ravens got, like, a million corners right now. Yeah, I, I, I get it. But, um, obviously, everybody ain't going to make it. Not everybody going to make it. And now you're 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 losing a corner. You're not losing, but he's going to safety. But you're losing a corner. Uh, since if they do stick with this, if they are like, all right, Brandon Stevens, you stick in that safety. You ain't playing corner this year. Don't even worry about it. So you lose depth there in the secondary. Um, so what do you do? Are you gonna trust the second year guys uh, for a much bigger role moving forward? Or are you gonna trust the first year guy for a much bigger role moving forward? Or are you gonna trust? Uh, some sort of young veterans with Kevon and Daryl Ward, you're gonna are you gonna give them more of a role? Uh, what is it gonna be after Marlon Humphrey and Rocky Scene? And that's I, that's a legitimate question. It's a legitimate question. It's something that it makes you wonder. Like, okay, what what are the Ravens gonna do? Are they gonna add somebody? 
Are they going to bring back a familiar face? Are they going to add a new face? Like something. Because I just, um, as far as the secondary, not that they can't do it, um, but I just think it's a lot of unknowns right now. I think it's a lot of unknowns in the secondary. Like, huh, well, I don't know what that could be. Like, you're, you're two outside corners. All right, cool. And you know what? Let me think about it out loud. Because maybe we may have a solution. Because we're talking out loud about a lot of stuff. You know what? All right, two outside corners. Marlon Humphrey, Rocky Scene. Okay. Slot guy, Kyle Hamilton. Um, so, yeah, yeah, slot guy, Kyle Hamilton. Your two drop back safeties, Marcus Williams. And may, maybe that's where Brandon Stevens, like, because they didn't say which side of the field he's going to play and which safety position, whether free safety, strong safety. And I, mean, I know they could be not interchangeable, but they can't be interchangeable. But um, they can do a lot of the same stuff. Uh, but usually free safety, that's the one that's roaming and whatnot. That's Marcus Williams all day. Strong safety. Uh, he may be roaming a little bit too, but he may come come up in the box more. But again, they both can do that. They 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 both can do that. So it's not like just because one is a free safety, Marcus Williams is a free safety, he will he will be the only one that's back there roaming the field. No, they're gonna have him blitz sometimes and whatnot. They're gonna have him come play up sometimes. It's gonna happen. But I just again just going back to everything. I I, I just I'm I'm a bit concerned, just a bit, uh, for Brandon Stevens' development and, and hopefully um. Like the Ravens, they – hopefully it works out, obviously. Wanted to work out for the Ravens. Wanted to work out for Brandon Stevens. Wanted to work out. But just, again, the, the, the back and forth. The back and forth. It's like, um, it's like hey, what, what, what's it going to be? What's it going to be? What, what do y'all want me to do? And, of course, him, him being on the team, him wanting to stay on the team, I'm sure he's like, hey, whatever y'all need me to do, I got you. I got you. you. You need me to play safety? Hey, cool. You need me to play corner? Hey, cool. Hey, you want me to bulk up and be a linebacker? Hey, whatever it takes. Ain't nothing wrong with that with that approach or that process, but again, I I, I just I just wonder because to me it's different, but at the same time it's the same. What if they had a player, just a random player? What if they had a, a player that they drafted as a wide receiver, and but in in college or whatever, he didn't play wide receiver. He played corner or linebacker. But then he started late Late in college. He started transferring a wide receiver. Then when he got to the league, they were like, all right, no, we want you to be a tight end. So then he played tight end for you. Then they were like, oh, no, we want you to be a, a wide receiver again. So then he had to go back to being a wide receiver. Then, like, oh, no, we want you to be a tight end. So, the, again, the, the back and forth, the flip-flopping, um, that's it's a little, little scary, but hopefully um, – It'll work out because with, with Brandon Stevens, I just I feel like with him, he shows some potential. Uh, he showed some 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 good uh, and he shows some struggles and whatnot. And, and I mean, that's to be expected. He's young. He's super young. But I, I feel like for him and his trajectory uh, as an NFL player, it would be more on the upside uh, if he could just if they could lock him down somewhere at a certain position and stick with it. That's just my opinion, though. Not saying that he can't play safety. Not saying that he can't play corner. But whatever it's going to be, I just wish they could. They would stick with it. But I know sometimes, like Ravens, they like experimenting. They like trying some different things out and whatnot. Every time I think about this, it always reminds me of Edgar Jones. Always reminds me of Edgar Jones. Because he, he was like a tight end turned DN, something like that. Look at Pat Ricard. He was a DN turned fullback. Remember, uh, I think, Key Keenan or Keelan Re Keenan Reynolds? He was the quarterback turned attempted wide receiver. They tried it. Um, there's always Darren Waller that worked out in the long run. He was a wide receiver turned tight end. Um, so again, the experiments of Camille Correa, he was an outside linebacker, <laughs> pass rusher turned inside linebacker. And then there was a head scratch and wondering why it didn't work. Matt Elam, he was a strong safety, a box safety, a physical safety turned to a Roman safety, turned to a free safety. Didn't work, but and so again, you you get what I'm saying. You get my that that's what my concern is, because I just I know so, hey sometimes it works out. Again, look at Pat Ricard. That obviously worked out. Sometimes it works out, but then sometimes it doesn't. So we'll see. We'll see. We're gonna keep our heads held high, keep smiling, keep happy, uh, and just hope that everything goes really good for the Ravens and Brandon Stevens this year. So we'll see. Team Keep It Clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all, and we out.